Hey everybody, I'm D Cobra, and welcome back to my Let's Play of Ninja Gaiden Black. Today we're going to try to complete Chapter 2, so with all of that said, let's go ahead and get started. The village is burning. Before long, Ryu hears the screams of his brethren. I'm not trying to be mean, but I didn't hear anything. Must have happened off screen. Okay, so what we have to do now is uh, not go through that trap door in front of me. Uh, instead, we're gonna backtrack all the way to the beginning of where we started chapter one. And luckily for me, there are no enemies to deal with along the way. Where's the interact button? Hello? It's here. I know it's here. Oh! Because <laughs> I was... I was looking at the wall. I wasn't looking at the door. Oh my god. Well, we're off to a great start, aren't we? All right, I'm gonna forget that. I'm gonna forget that that awkwardness happened. So let's keep going. Down here we go. It helps that Ryu is so light on his feet. Although I'm sure he does take damage if he falls too far. Uh, nope, we want to go back this way. Sorry, I thought there was something there. <laughs> um, so all the way back here is a double door, which was actually locked back in Chapter 1. But now that we're done with Chapter 1, we can uh, go through it. The art of the fire wheels, that's our first ever ninfo, which I will probably take advantage of real soon. It's the only source of magic that I have so far. Hopefully that'll be enough. So I'm assuming that the game equipped it for me automatically. Maybe I should check and make sure, huh? Okay, now it's equipped. So the game did... I don't think the game did it for me. Okay, uh... Is that a long fall? I can't see. No, there's a let... I just got here. Why are you doing this to me now? What if I told you guys that I'm just a tourist? The sword is just for show. Leave me alone. Okay, so there's nothing here. All right, let's keep going. Okay, with that treasure chest opened, we're gonna go down this way. That's a dead end. This way. only route to my village? Does every single person have to go down that slide to get there? Oh, ow. Oh, ow. Oh, he just teleported. 
Oh, I don't like you. But you do drop health for me, so... Maybe you're not so bad. Oops. Ah! Okay, I need to, you know, be patient. These guys are wearing armor. So they definitely take longer to kill. They also block a lot more than the ninjas in Chapter 1 do. Stay down, please. Thank you. Okay. Oh, there's a ladder. What's up here? Okay. What's farther ahead? Well, the village, obviously, but you know what I mean. Oh. I guess I couldn't jump that gap after all. I had to swim across. Uh, is there anything here? No, it doesn't look like it. Run towards the water, and as you reach it, press the jump button repeatedly. This allows you to run across the surface. I completely forgot I could do that. Alright, let's try it. Oh. Oh, what's here? <gasps> so running across the water in a straight line was worth it. <laughs> Alright, cool. Let's keep going. Oh, actually, before that, let's uh, save our game before anything unfortunate happens. Yes, as you can see, I did explore this place just a little bit before I started recording. The last thing I wanted to do was bore you guys too much with my dying and my complaining and my cluelessness and my absent-mindedness. The list can go on and on. You might still see some of that here, but at least maybe it'll be a little bit less. So here we are at Hayabusa Village. Let's see what's in this dead end corner here. Or er, dead end. Why did I say corner? Ugh, I'm talking too much. Oh. Well, I could say that your death will not be in vain, but I won't be able to promise that. But I do promise to try. That looks like it could be something important. I'm sure we'll find the head somewhere along the way. What's up here? It's this little house, something shiny. I don't have a heavy blunt object, but I'm sure I will get one soon. Maybe not in this chapter, but later in the game. Oh! You guys are... You guys are a nuisance! Oh, with your armor and your blocking. Blocking. Stop that. Stop being like me. Can I wall run somewhere? Take that kick in the face. log roll in the air. How the hell did I make that happen? That can't be how physics works. Was physics the right word? Whatever. Hmm. 
must be haunting him even in the afterlife. <laughs> Who wrote this? This poor guy, he's dead. Why are we rubbing it in by saying things like that? Oh, hello. So that's obviously not important now, but I think it'll be important later. <coughs> Excuse me. Let's bring the statue head back to where it belongs. Nice. So I need nine of those to permanently extend my health bar. Speaking of extending my health bar, I do need to clarify something. So back in chapter one, I mentioned that this item, the lives of the thousand gods, if you use it, it will not only extend your health bar, but it'll replenish your health bar too. So I'm half right and half wrong, <laughs> as it turns out. So it does extend your health bar, but if you do use it, it's not going to replenish your health bar because I used it off screen as a test during a battle when I was during a battle that I was um, where I was dying. And well, I had 10% of health left. I used the uh, item in question and well, I still had 10% health left. So you know what, with that said, I'm just gonna go ahead and use the lives of the Thousand Gods now. Why wait? You see that? In my health, the amount of health I have is exactly the same. I must have gotten mixed up with a different game when I said what I said back in chapter one, so I'm sorry about that inaccuracy. Did I go here already? I think I did, yeah, so... The Lunar Staff, that is our second weapon of the game. I'll play with it later. In the meantime, up we go. Oh. Uh-oh. A dark samurai clad in black armor. Master, you do not attempt to fight it. I feel like that cutscene cut off a little bit awkwardly. I didn't even press anything, just so you know. It wasn't me. Alright, cool. So I do have a bow. Oh, it's... It's actually in my projectile weapon section. It's not in my melee section. You know what? That that makes sense. So let's make that our primary projectile. I do remember using that bow a lot when I played the uh, when I played the original version of this game. Oh, it's a store. Muramasa's shop. This brings back memories. I got seven of those. Elixir of the Devil Way. That replenishes my Ninbo. Uh, I won't worry about spending... I won't worry about buying those for right now. Talisman of Rebirth. I have one. Uh, oh! Oh, this is a new Ninfo, different from the one that I currently have. I should probably buy it. Can I upgrade my weapon? No? I guess I'll be able to do it later. I must have fallen asleep. Blacksmithing takes a lot away from you, especially at my age. I'm afraid there's nothing I can do to turn back time. Well, at least you made peace with it. Alright. Maybe we'll, um, be able to upgrade weapons later. For now. Well, 
what were his last thoughts as he slipped off into the darkness? Jeez. Why do we want to know that? Okay. I have a strange feeling that I'm not alone here. Ah! Oh! Oh my god, not only do they teleport, they can shoot projectiles! Oh, you gotta be kidding! Yeah, as if armored men with swords isn't bad enough. seem useful. I mean, we can't let it go to waste, right? Okay, let me um, refresh my memory about my bow and arrow here. So there's no reticle. So my aim will probably be questionable at the most, but I think I'll be okay. And 15 arrows is the most that I can carry at any given time. Okay, something tells me, if I remember correctly, there is like a boss or a mini boss or something straight ahead. So I'm actually going to go back and save my game before I take that plunge. The last thing I want to do is die and do all that searching around all over again. Ayan is sitting over there wondering, where the hell are you going, Ryu? <laughs> you are not finished here. I'll be back, I promise. There you are. Okay. I feel a little better now. This music is so peaceful, by the way. These guys better not respawn. Please don't respawn. Thank you. Even if they did, I would just run like hell. I knew it. There is something he... Horses! What's happening? Ah! Ow! Can I bow and arrow you? Did that do any damage at all? Oh! Why did I do that? Come on. Oh my god, I gotta dodge. I just got hit, didn't I? No, no, ooh. That looked like it could have broken my spine. Okay, I don't know what's happening. I don't know what's happening. Help! I heard a cry. The arrow must have hurt him. 
try again. Oh! That's my ninfo. <laughs> Why did I even do that? You know what, it just, it just occurred to me that even if I did... No, I didn't want to use that yet. Okay, so I can still... I can still knock him out of their horses the old-fashioned way just by attacking, but... Something tells me the bow and arrow will work better, but... In order for me to do that, I gotta be patient and work on my aim. Ah! Come on! Oh! Ow! I don't- I think that missed. Oh, he's coming! Well, that didn't knock him down. Oh! I ran up the wall and that, you know. Okay, the one with the spear needs to go. The bow and arrow guy, I think with a little patience, I'll be able to handle him, but that spear. He's gotta go. You know what? I don't care if I die here because I my talisman of rebirth was used and I I'm a spoiled brat that wants it back. So if I die here, I'll make peace with it. There you go. If he could drop some health for me, that would be ideal. That would buy me a little extra time. Damn it. I knew it. There's another one? I think that missed. That missed too. That bow and arrow, that's the key. Good thing I saved before this. Oh, but the, all the enemies respawned, didn't they? So I gotta run like hell. I don't wanna fight him again. Oh, I don't think they respawned. Sweet! What about these guys, did they respawn? Should I run? Oh no, we're good. Sweet. I'm glad I saved when I did. I knew I'd die at least once. Okay, let's try again. If at all possible, I gotta take out the guy with the spear first. have to land a few hits with my sword. Oh my god! I didn't realize how much damage these guys can do. Come on, come on, come on. Sorry, Horsey! I'm so sorry! I would not do this in real life. I love horses. Okay, okay. That's one. Die, please. Heal me. No? Damn it. Well, that was sloppy. Come on. Oh, 
damn. Oh, I panicked and I missed. No, 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 I'm gonna heal. This should be enough, maybe. Hopefully. Will I need another one right away? Knowing my luck? Yes, I will. Oop, I panicked. Ugh. Oh, why was I shooting at the horse? You know what, I think the horse would have died either way. It wouldn't have mattered. Heal me, heal me. Come on, guys. Where are you? Where are you? Can you heal me? Please? Please. Nice. That ought to buy me a little bit of time. Oh, is he the only one? It's just you and me? Yeah, I think he was the only one left. I'm just messing with you now. Fine, I'll finish you. Bye. How many of them were there? Okay, not bad. I only had to use one item. Oh, perfect. If I remember correctly, there's something there. <laughs> Some, there's something on that bridge waiting for me. Uh, before I do that. Oh, what's up here? Let's just double check and make sure that there's nothing here that I can collect. Okay, I was afraid some enemies were gonna appear for a second there. But no, I was just letting me know that I was in a new location. Cold chill can be felt in the air as if the spirits of clan ancestors have been awakened from their eternal sleep. You know, if they have been awakened from their eternal sleep, I could really use their help right about now. Okay, so there's nothing for me to do here. All right, back to the save point. Should I heal myself? before this next battle. You know what? Let me take my chances. Let me at least see what I'm up against and then go from there. Let's save again because I'm OCD. my fire wheel ninfo. Perfect. Okay, I need to not spend too much time on these guy, little guys. I still have a boss to defeat after all. <gasps> oh my god, I messed up big time. Ah, you don't like fire, do you? Okay, time to be aggressive. Time to be aggressive. Ow. Yeah. 
Come on. To be fair, I still feel bad for the ugly demon horse. It's still a horse and I don't want to hurt it. my ninfo. Alright, let's turn it on. Oh my god, this camera is killing me. Heal me, guys. Heal me. Heal me. Turn that ninfo on. with me <sighs> well at least I saved right before that fight so that's fine I need to use my ninfo sooner Okay, let's go. Let's go, baby. Let's go. Let's turn this on. Oh, I see some health. Oh, I gotta run for it. Run for that health. Don't disappear. Don't want to use my talisman of rebirth just yet. Okay, good. Good. <gasps> There's another one. Oh! I wonder if these guys can uh, drop some red key for me so that I can use my ninfo again. Come on. No, no, no. These guys. These guys. I don't like the fact that I'm already used two healing potions. I didn't pay attention. Perfect. Oh my god, I can't concentrate! Could you just stop, please? <clears throat> I make a gesture with my hands, I put my controller down for just a second, and I regret it immediately. demon horse. Oh, there's no more showing up? Oh, I should be good now. <laughs> there we go. Ah. Sounds like something I could have used in this fight. Wall blocking. Okay. That's fine. Okay, so I can't go back this way, so the obvious place to go is through these doors.
but he's so cool. I mean, he's a jerk, but he's cool. Oh. Okay, he's a Actually. That's me forgetting to hit my guard button. Sorry, Ryu. That better not be my talisman of rebirth that you're using. I want to save that. There goes the village. Just better than greater ninja, right? So if that's the case, then I didn't do as badly as I thought. My network of ninja have uncovered the reason for the attack. The samurai who burned the village was Doku, lord of the greater fiends of the Vigur Empire. It appears as though the Vigur Emperor seeks the power of the Dark Dragon Blade. Doku. Ryu's out for blood. Uh, I guess that means I am now too. Okay, so let's get to the next save point, and then we are gonna stop there. The Holy Vigor Empire, a strange dictatorship veiled in secrecy. Its exclusionist foreign policy makes for very few ways to enter the country. One of the only remaining routes is by airship to the capital city of Tyron. That was a badass entrance. He looks friendly. Can't wait to meet him. Oh, hello. Nice. Guess I didn't need to buy one after all. Okay, so as I was saying earlier, we will stop here for now. And in the next video, we will resume chapter three. So until then, thank you guys for watching and hopefully I will see you next weekend. Bye.